What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Fortnite video and today I want to talk about the word that's been out there for a few days now of people suggesting we might get a new map pretty pretty soon. But hey you sexy people, do you want to win some V-Bucks? If you do, simply make sure you are subscribed to this channel and have that bell button ticked. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Winners are picked and contacted via direct message. So good luck everybody. Okay, so Epic aka tweeted this out the other day. It states the bus is taking off destination China with a tagged photo which we'll get to in a second. So this alone has sparked many to think we might be getting a new map based on China. Me personally, as much as I'd welcome that and I think it would be absolutely amazing, I don't think this means anything of sorts. But it does go a little deeper than just a word in here. Within this picture you can see it on screen now, you can see it's stamped a date which is the 23rd of April 2018, which is this coming Monday. Now what's special about this date? Well it's a date many crazy folks believe the world's going to end. And by what? Well not quite a meteor but another planet called Nibiru or Planet X. Well what sprung up within the sky about a month back, which has been getting closer and closer? It isn't a planet, well we don't think it is, but a meteor. The 23rd is also the day of the year we see many meteors falling from the sky. The day is called Lyrid I believe and a quick google search tells all. The annual Lyrid meteor showers peak this weekend. It's active each year from about April 16th to the 25th. In 2018 the peak of this shower which tends to come in a burst and usually lasts for less than a day is expected to fall on the morning of the 22nd with little or no interference from the waxing moon. No matter where you are on earth expect the greatest number of meteors to fall during a few hours before dawn. All in all, the Lyrid Meteor Showers prospects look pretty good for 2018, though Meteor Showers are notorious for being fickle and not totally predictable. Many have pieced this together, adding parts which don't exist, and believe this Meteor will hit the map on Monday, destroying it and will be off to China to play on a new map. Yes people, I think the same. Craziness. But if Monday comes and the map changes, I will eat my words. What this tweet was, in my opinion, was just epic confirming the release of Fortnite in China. I believe that's all this means. I mean, I could be wrong and we could indeed experience a whole new map, but I doubt that will happen. There are too many things that just don't make sense, mainly the Battle Pass challenges to complete the book. A lot of these challenges need to be done in certain areas of the current map. If we are off to China, how are we going to get kills in Retail Row and Tilted Towers? It just ain't going to work. I just don't think they will cut us short. For sure, these challenges are old, but that's not the point. What? Not everybody buys the Battle Pass straight away. Newcomers might buy it tomorrow, and if they do so, they have literally a day to do the challenges. I just don't buy it at all people, I really don't. So I'm sorry for breaking the hearts of those who thought we might be getting a new map, I just don't see it happening. I do however still believe that Meteor is for something which will change the current map, but you guys have heard my theories on that numerous times. I actually have a new theory which I might cover in a video to come soon, we will see people. But guys that is the end of that, sorry to disappoint. So the main news to come out of this video is, I believe Fortnite is going to be launching in China on Monday. And on that note guys, I am out. Thanks as always for stopping by, if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps me out. If you're new around here and enjoy Fortnite videos in the terms of news, leaks, guides and gameplays, be sure to subscribe. Again, thanks for stopping by and hopefully people I will see you on that next one. Always in the